Hi, I'm Isaac Gore, and I research the intersection of public policy, geology, and economics for the Heartland Institute. I've been studying the costs and benefits of horizontal hydraulic fracturing, also known as fracking. It's a technique that has greatly enhanced our ability to produce oil and natural gas that's been around now for decades. I'm standing at a natural gas well site in Pennsylvania where local property owners have chosen to lease their land for drilling and fracking. This is the first in a series of videos designed to give you clear and simple facts. I'll explain what fracking is, look at its environmental and economic impacts, and dispel common myths and inaccuracies that have crept into the public debate. Let's start by learning about the fracking process itself. What is fracking? Scientists have known for a long time about vast deposits of oil and natural gas trapped inside pores and shale rock far below the Earth's surface in large sections of the United States. Think of these pores like bubbles in a sheet of bubble wrap. Each bubble contains oil and natural gas, but because these pores are not interconnected, it's difficult to access their contents. In order to extract the resources, the rocks must be fractured. This creates a network of conduits among the pores and allows the oil and natural gas to flow. Vertical drilling of a well is a process that has been used for more than a century, but technological advances in the past 15 to 20 years now allow for horizontal drilling. And that's where natural gas fracking comes in. First, oil and gas producers drill a well far below the water table. Then, layers of steel and cement are used to line the walls of the well to prevent leakage. The drilling rig then turns horizontally, piercing through the layers of the shale. The hydraulic fracturing process consists of pumping a mixture of water, sand, and chemical additives at a rate of about 10,000 to 15,000 pounds per square inch to fracture the rock. The high pressures create the fractures, and the sand grains act like pillars at the Parthenon, propping the cracks open and allowing the oil and natural gas to flow out. The average amount of water used to fracture a well is between 4 to 5 million gallons, about the same amount used every six minutes in New York City. In total, scientists from Duke University found fracking uses approximately 0.04% of the total water used in the United States, which is far less than is used by other industries like agriculture and power generation. The mixture of water, sand, and chemical additives is often referred to as fracking fluid. Although some of these chemicals are toxic, the fracking process doesn't cause them to enter the water table or pollute people's water. In fact, the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, in their 2015 report found no evidence that fracking activities have led to widespread systemic impacts on drinking water and that incidences of contamination are rare compared to the number of wells drilled. We don't think about it often, but energy plays a vital role in our lives. For example, the energy used by each American in 2011 was the equivalent of over 2,500 gallons of gasoline, or about 54 barrels of oil. Hydraulic fracturing has made the U.S. the largest producer of oil and natural gas in the world. And that's had a ripple effect on our economy by saving Americans hundreds of dollars at the gas station and creating hundreds of thousands of jobs. 30,000 jobs were created by fracking in Pennsylvania and more than 64,000 jobs in Texas. And these figures do not reflect the jobs that were created by oil and gas workers spending their money in the rest of the economy, at car dealerships, movie theaters, and buying school supplies for their children. Hydraulic fracturing will play an important role in making sure that we have the affordable, abundant energy we need, because oil accounts for 35% of all the energy we use. Natural gas accounts for 28%, and this number will only grow larger in the future as we switch from coal to natural gas. Fracking is a safe, important part of our energy future, and it gives the United States a greater degree of energy independence from foreign-sourced energy resources. This is Isaac Gore for the Heartland Institute.